CBC Grade 9, Chapter 8, Reach for the Top, Part 2, Maria Sharapova, Summary of the Lesson. Reach for the Top, Part 2, briefly narrates the life and career of Maria Sharapova, one of the world's best-known tennis stars. Behind her ready smile, disarming manner, and a glamorous attire, lies the hard work and the sacrifice that enabled Maria Sharapova to achieve the world number one position in women's tennis on 22nd August 2005. Poised beyond her years, the Siberian-born teenager took just four years as a professional to reach the pinnacle. However, the rapid ascent in a fiercely competitive world began nine years before with a level of sacrifice few children would be prepared to endure. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th tenth birthday when her father Yuri brought her to the U.S. to be trained in tennis. Her mother Elena could not accompany her due to visa restrictions. In the U.S., she missed her mother badly, her father too. He was working as much as he could, he could to pay for her tennis training. So she couldn't see him either. But she knew that the sacrifice was an inevitable price to be paid for her big aspirations. Apart from the pongs of separation from the mother, the child also suffered harassment from her inconsiderate fellow trainees who were older in age. At the training academy, Maria would go to bed at 8 p.m. as she was very young. Her fellow trainees who were older would return at 11 p.m. and wake her up and make her tidy the room. Instead of letting this upset her, Maria drew mental strength and determination from this bullying. This mental toughness gradually became a trait of her personality that helped her both as a person and as a sports sportswoman. If proved to be instrumental in helping her to reach the zenith of glory in the world of tennis, she bagged, I mean, she won the women's singles crown at Wimbledon in 2004 and became the number one tennis player in the world. However, Maria is not sentimental about her journey and the sacrifices she has had to make to achieve her goal. She says, I am very competitive, very, very competitive. I work hard at what I do. It's my job. Hard work and dedication and mental courage paved the way for Sharapova's rapid rise to success. Imbued with the patriotic sentiments, she feels proud to be a Russian. Though grateful to the U.S. for bringing out the best in her, she would like to represent her own country, Russia, at the Olympics. Although Maria is fond of fashion, singing and dancing, she focuses all her attention on tennis. She considers tennis as both a business and as a sport, which has poured riches in her life. However, her main aim is to shine as a tennis player. It is this aspiration that constantly governs her mind and motivates her for ceaseless efforts. So this is the summary of the lesson reached for the top part to Maria Sharapova. I hope it is helpful to you. Thank you.